so after knowing that the some important points of the mirrors and as well as the formation of the images uh, in case of spherical mirrors that is convex and concave mirrors those are the spherical mirrors now we are going to know that so some what is the applications or uses of uh, spherical mirrors means uh, here the mirrors concave or convex mirrors are used in our daily life also in, in the automobiles and some other cases in many cases so what are the applications where we use this mirrors first of all convex mirror convex mirror is used in the rear view of automobiles to see the back to see the behind traffic the convex mirrors are used it means uh, where are the side view of uh, side mirrors of automobiles which is used to convex mirror because of to see the it is the convex mirrors are having that wide field view wide field view large field view so that's why we use the convex mirrors in case uh, to see the behind the traffic uh, without turning our head so here are we can uh, uh, avoid the uh, accidents like that so here is that when the plane wave if in case of we use the plane mirror that kind of field view is very small so that's why in case of uh, to see the back side to see the side view we can't uh, use the plane mirrors because of here is that if in case of a plane mirror this is the plane mirror and this is the object whenever we see the, this is our eye we are observing then uh, the field view is instant on this then it will be the reflected like this only we can see here is also here only the plane mirror so that's why we can't see the more view only this is having the field view is very less only we can see the less view so that's why we don't use the plane mirror uh, in case of the rear view of uh, automobiles here is a concave mirror convex mirror whenever the concave mi convex mirror is that the field view is very range so it is incident on that mirror because of it is having that bulk inside then uh, so here is that convex mirror here is that it is incident on that and uh, this is the field view is very large so that's why the convex mirrors are used because and also in the convex mirror always the erect image will be formed erect image and will be formed so that's why we are uh, we use the side rear view means used in rear view mirrors and uh, used to see the behind the traffic without turning our head uh, not useful the plane mirrors are not useful purpose because convex mirrors has a very large field of view here is a we can see the large, very large field of view so it is also always produces an erect image and a erect image always produces an erect image it will not form the inverted image so that's why we use the convex mirror in the side rear view of automobiles means and uh, it, the image is also diminished means uh, if you want to see the more the if in case of heavy automobiles are coming behind us without our turning head if we see the side mirror then uh, we can see the total the total automobiles that is lorry bus whatever it is the biggest large of uh, large automobiles we can see the in the mirror because of the image will be diminished so the size of the image will be less than the object size so here it is there so that's why the convex mirrors are uh, used in the rear view mirrors so here is also that is it gives the a wide field of wide field of view this is about a uh, convex mirrors which is used first of all it is used in rear view mirrors rear view mirrors in the or side view of a uh, side mirrors of uh, automobiles because of whenever the large uh, automobiles are coming behind us we can't see by turning our head if we see that we can get met with an accident so that's why to avoid that one the rear view rear view mirrors are adjusted if we see the rear view uh, mirrors then uh, we can see that large bodies large automobiles can see in the diminished image because of convex mirrors are having that large field of view so that's why the convex mirrors are used in a uh, automobiles so here is the we discussed and uh, it is forms the erect image and a diminished image so that's why this purpose the convex mirrors are uh, used in a uh, rear view mirrors if in case of a concave mirror concave mirrors are used in the lights for reflecting purpose if in case of like a reflectors in a automobiles headlights headlights in automobiles headlights some of that we use that reflectors reflectors convex concave lights we use for the as reflectors in automobile headlights 
and also search lights also in our torch lights we have that at our home so in torch lights also the concave mirror will be used for the reflecting purpose and also reflectors in table lamps table lamps whenever we are used to study on the table lamps to focus at a separate area at a given particular area the reflectors will be there the reflectors also concave mirrors so here it is that concave mirrors and also reflecting the type of astronomical telescopes astronomical telescope which is using a large aperture concave mirrors large aperture concave mirrors which is used for the reflecting type of astronomical telescopes make use of a concave mirrors of a large aperture so here it is that and also ophthalmoscopic means uh, there is a fundoscope also called it is called also fundoscope so ophthalmoscope also which is used to examine the eye retina to focus the ray of lights uh, parallel beam of lights uh, instantaneous at particular place in ophthalmoscope also in a uh, that is called also fundoscope so in that scope also to examine the eye type physical examination for the physical examination for eye retina so so that's why eye type of physical examination purposely ophthalmoscope is used so that is also called as a fundoscope so for that purpose also the concave mirror used in that fundoscope also here is that first of all the used to reflector in automobiles whenever we get the in night time if we have the opposite vehicle to get the side to we want to say that we, we use the reflectors we use the reflectors for the reflector purpose also concave mirrors are used and also here it is the search lights for the torch light we will search the search lights search lights also in that search lights also concave mirrors are used for the reflecting purpose and search light purpose to focus at a particular area these concave mirrors are used in that instruments and uh, direct light in a given area and a uh, reflecting type of autonomic astronomical telescopes make use of concave mirrors of a large aperture means astronomical telescope which are having the reflecting type of astronomical telescopes so reflecting type of astronomical telescopes which is having the which is used concave mirrors of a large aperture concave mirrors are used and also ophthalmoscope that is called also fundoscope fundus in the fundoscope also to ray of beam of beam of lights are in parallel beam of lights are instant on that to physical examination purpose for the to see the eye examination means the retina eye examination purpose the concave mirrors are used in that case so here it is about the applications of a spherical mirrors first convex mirrors which is used for the rear view rear view mirrors means side mirrors of uh, automobiles and uh, concave mirrors which is used in the headlights reflector reflection for, for the headlights and uh, search lights and uh, table lamps and ophthalmoscope and as reflecting purpose uh, type of uh, astronomical telescopes that is our concave mirror in this case of uh, the rear view mirrors which is having the convex mirrors are having that very wide range of field view so that's why in that side mirrors uh, means rear view mirrors uh, the uh, convex mirrors are used once again in that the convex mirrors are used in a rear view mirrors used to see the behind the traffic without turning head plane mirrors are not useful for the rear view mirrors because of the rear plane mirrors are having very less means a small field of view here is the we have discussed with this is having the small field of view if we compare with the large field of view of this is a convex mirror so it though so that's why that convex mirrors are used for the rear view mirrors which is having the wider and they will form the erect image if you see the ambulance in our in the, the letters of ambulance will be written in a, the opposite order so that in case of a rear view camera rear view mirror if you see that then uh, we can see the ambulance clearly that is the erect image so that is erect image so that is there always erect image will be formed and also one more thing is uh, which is having large field of view means uh, in the small mirror we can see the large automobiles which are coming behind us means uh, that is how that is how we have the large field of view that is the convex mirrors so that's why don't be confused in side rear view mirrors the convex mirrors are used because of they have large field of view but in case of headlights we have we use 
concave mirrors for the reflecting purpose for the reflecting of headlights or uh, in our torch lights also concave mirrors we have so here is about that don't be confused about the convex and concave mirrors first of all in rear view mirrors convex mirrors are used and uh, in the headlights concave